Hi, in today's video I'll show you how to connect your cold card wallet to your BTC Pay server so that the payments you receive to your BTC Pay server go directly to your cold card wallet. We'll do it in a completely offline way without ever attaching our cold card to our PC. Before you start, you'll need an already synced BTC Pay server, a cold card wallet of course, and a micro SD card. The first thing we need to do is go to stores, create a new store, and enter the name of your store. Create the store and scroll all the way into the general settings tab, scroll all the way to the bottom until you see derivation scheme. Go to modify and you'll see here import from hardware device. Click there and select cold card. Here you'll now see the instructions on what you have to select inside your cold card. So let's head back to our cold card and make sure that you have a micro SD card inserted into your cold card because we'll be dumping a file needed for derivation scheme. So inside your cold card go to advanced micro SD card and select Electrum Wallet. You'll see the explanation on what you will be saving to the microSD card. Read it and confirm it by clicking the OK button. Now you need to select the format and I strongly recommend that you go with native SegWit. So the last option, native SegWit. Click OK and the cold card will now generate the file. Now that the file is on our micro SD card, uh, pull out your micro SD card and insert it into your PC. All this time, cold card wallet is offline. It is connected to a power source. In my case, it's a power bank, but you can also connect it to the to your phone's charger or anything similar. Now, click the browse button and select the file you just exported from the cold card. It is usually named new wallet type JSON. So click open to add it and click submit. Since there is no way to compare the addresses in cold card and BTC pay at this time, just click confirm and we'll do a little test afterwards. And that's it. Now your BTC pay is connected to your cold card and uh, all the funds coming to your BTC pay will be actually located into your cold card. Let's just do a quick test to make sure that our wallet is well connected and that the payments coming to our BTC pay will be going to our cold card. So you can do that by going to invoices, click create new invoice and select some random amount. For instance, that could be $5 and make sure that at the bottom you are selecting the store which is connected to your cold card wallet. In my case, that is cold card store. Click create. And just um, now here you can click checkout. And now you'll be redirected to the invoice screen where, where you can make a test payment. So I'll now make a quick payment with my test wallet just to make sure that everything works. Once you make a payment, you should head back to your BTC pay wallets and you'll see the balance in your cold card wallet here. And that's it for now. Uh, as I mentioned in the next video, I'll show you how you can spend funds from this wallet. But for now, it is important to understand that all the money coming to your BTC Pay server will be going to the cold card and that uh, the process is completely offline without cold card ever being attached to your PC. And that's pretty much everything. I'll see you in the next video.